I don't have any children, but I've given birth to many ideas and projects. Over the past 20 plus years of my life, I've helped nurture, teach, and raise other people's children, as well as work with the parents of these children because you can't exclude them from the healing process. With an educational background in child and adolescent development, I learned what was needed by the words of those who quantified observations before me. But learning how to engage with children was a different type of learning that I experienced in their actual presence. A learning that continues to be so much more fun by doing rather than reading about it. Have you ever watched a child without restrictions? It is such a beautiful sight to behold. You can see them think, ponder, question, and create all in an instant. Watching them learn how to interact no matter how long it takes, or watching how they get their needs met, how they express or not express themselves in creative play is such a wonderful sight, and so much more fun when you join them as they interact or simply sit next to them as they silently take in the world around them. It is an energy that challenges you and helps you grow as an adult if you allow it. And they are the expanded version of us in all of their shapes and forms. They are here to teach us. So when I read something from an astrological perspective about the energy of a child when they are born, I smiled. I learned that when a child is born, the energy the child carries is the aspect in the parent's relationship that is needing attention. It's as if the interconnection of conception sent a message to the universe about what the couple was needing. I am a Gemini son, a messenger who used to be silent and has now learned how to communicate better, who has parents that kept secrets from each other and struggled with healthy communication and control in many different ways. I appreciate this early contrast in my life because I have now learned the importance of healthy arguments, when to release control and how to reclaim the power of my voice so that I can do things better because I am now in a much better place than where I was before. I wonder how this information about the energy of a child plays out in cases of adoption or assisted fertilization and would love to hear from you about how this applies to you and how it has played out because I believe that energy is interconnected regardless of traditional forms of conception. Intuitively, I can see how the energy of the child within us not only served as the purpose for what our parents were needing at that time, but also as something within me that was needing my attention. And because age is just a number we give ourselves in efforts to quantify and qualify our existence, I believe that I will always be a child of Source, a child that looks through life with curiosity, a child that is eager to learn, even if it takes me a while to get it, a child that poses repeated questions to try to understand, who accepts diversity and the binary world, a child that enjoys to explore and play in my own way, a child that looks for the fun in life even if that means I sit silently and observe others do life. A child that gets lost in thought, but also focuses on the present moment because living life is found in more ways than one. A moment that will repeat again and again and again, changing in different ways and different forms because it is endless, just like me. My name is Yubi, and this is my transformed truth. Thank you for watching You Becoming Healed, where I model and teach you how to own and transform your truth for healing. Until next time.